Adventure Ahead! The National Broadcasting Company presents another in the new series of famous stories for young people. Adventure Ahead. This week, a play based on that classic of American childhood, The Story of a Bad Boy by Thomas Bailey Aldrich. An amusing, exciting story of the adventures of a typical American boy. And now... Adventure Ahead! Tom. Tom Bailey. He's upstairs, Judge Nutter. Huh? In his room. Oh, thank you, Kitty. Tom. Oh, Tom. Tom Bailey. Yes, Come down here, Tom. I want to talk to you. Wrong, sir? Wrong? I should say something's wrong. What about this book? A book, sir? What book? You know very well what book, Tom Bailey. This one. My notebook. One I'm writing my speech in. Oh. Oh. Recognize it, eh? Well, yes, Uncle. Drawing pictures in my notebook. Funny faces. It's a shame, Tom Bailey. All these, these faces mixed up with my campaign speech. Hmm. Not very good likenesses, either. You're not, sir? Oh, this one here. That's supposed to be Kitty Callum, our maid. Hmm. Don't look like her. Who's this stupid-looking one? Oh, uh, well, that's supposed to be you, Uncle. Yeah. Huh? <clears throat> oh, it is, eh? It's the best I could do, sir. My pencil was worn out. Oh, Tom, I declare. You'll be the death of me yet. Always up to some devilment. You're a bad boy, Tom Bailey. Worst boy in Massachusetts. Oh, but, sir, I only... Sometimes I wonder why I ever let your folks send you up here to live with me. But I like to live here on the coast, Uncle. Well, I should think you would. Your folks should never put up with the things I do. Well, I'm sorry if I caused you so much trouble, Uncle. I didn't know your old notebook was so important. Well, it is. I've got my campaign speech in it for the big political rally. Are you going to make a speech? Well, of course. Tonight in the square. Long after you're in bed. I'm going to be the chief speaker. A few words from me ought to do a lot for our candidate. I didn't know you could make a speech. Well, you better run along now, Tom. I'm busy. Go find your friends, Jack Harris and Kenny Wallace. Bother them. Yes, sir. I'll be back for supper. Oh, and Tom. Yes, Please. Please don't get into any more trouble. <laughs> Was Judge Nutter mad, Tom? Was he mad about the notebook? What'd your uncle say, Tom? Oh, he didn't say much. Bet he didn't like it. Well, uh, no, Judge. Did he scold you, Tom? Like the schoolmaster did the time you drew the funny pictures on the blackboard? No, he just said I was a bad boy. He didn't even tell me not to do it again. Golly! Wish my father was like old Judge Nutter. He's gonna make a speech tonight, Kenny. Who? My father? No, Judge Nutter. He's going to make an election speech up on the square. What's he running for, Tom? President? No, he's not running for anything. Well, what's he making a speech for? I don't know, but it must be important. He's been rehearsing it all day. Well, if it's anything like the speeches I've heard at political rallies, everybody will go to sleep. Poor old Judge Nutter will probably be just like the rest of them, too. Won't he, Jack? Sure. Everybody always goes to sleep. You think they will? Sure. Well, gosh, I can't let that happen. I can't let him go to sleep on my own uncle. Bet they will. I know what we can do. I know how we can keep people awake at the political rally. Well, how, Tom? So you know that sack of firecrackers we've been saving you since the 4th of July? <laughs> I never expect so much noise to come from under the platform. <laughs> you got the match, Tom? Uh-huh. Better get ready to run, then. Judge Nutter's going to speak next. Friends and voters, it is now my privilege to introduce that great citizen of Massachusetts, that leader among men, that champion of order and discipline, Judge Oswald Shrewsbury Nutter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, voters in this great county, 
In speaking of our political candidate tonight, I would like to say a few words about the younger generation and the important part they are playing here in Rivermouth in the promotion and security of quiet and peaceful tranquility. But we are trying to... party set them off. Maybe sailors from that ship down the harbor. Hmm. Quite a long ride up here in the morning paper. Hmm? It says, um, the three miscreants who caused the disturbance are unknown as they escaped in the confusion. Hmm. My goodness. Hmm. Now listen to this. Judge Nutter's speech was the first election oration of the year. And it can truthfully be said that the judge went over with a bank. Oh. <laughs> what are you giggling about, Tom Bailey? Who, me? It's no laughing matter. No, sir. It's my social prestige and injured my political reputation. Worst of all, I just scared me to death. Yes, sir. Hmm. I'm glad you were home in bed last night, Tom. Yes, sir. Hmm. I thought about you when those firecrackers started banging away. But I knew you were home in bed, so I didn't give it another thought. Too bad you missed all the excitement, Tom. Yes, sir. Oh, I mean, no, sir. Will you excuse me, Uncle? Mm. Finished your breakfast already? I'm not very hungry. No. Timmy Wallace and me are going down to the harbor to see the cruiser and all the sailors. I'm anxious to get started. Oh. Well, if you're done, you can leave. Thank you, sir. Now, but, Tom. Yes, sir. Just a minute. Get back here, will you? There seems to be something sticking out of your pocket. Uh, the back pocket. Uh, a firecracker. Uh, yes, sir. Why, so it is. A firecracker. Hmm. You better let me have that, Tom. You set up any more of those things, and I'll go start craving mad. <laughs> You let him go, Judge Nutter, oh. without so much as boxing his ears? Oh, well, yes, Kitty. I can't be too harsh with Tom. Oh. Eh, seems like most of these things he does, I remember doing when I was a boy. He'll never amount to nothing, Judge Nutter, because you're spoiling him. Oh. He's a bad boy, and you're making him worse. Oh, I don't know about that, Kitty. He may not be what you'd call a real good boy, but Tom's not such a very bad boy. Boys will be boys, Kitty. Hmm. I wonder where he's got all those firecrackers. There she is, a real cruiser. Sure looks big out there, Tom. Well, I bet you it takes a couple of millions, million sailors to run a ship like that, Kitty. Golly, wish I was old enough to be a sailor. Me too. I like to go on board a big ship like that cruiser and see all the guns and engines and how they make it go. Sure would be fun, Tom. Mm. You know, when I grow up, I'm going to be a sailor. Or maybe even a general. They don't have generals on ships. Well, whatever they have, that's what I want to be. Ah, you can't even swim, can Well, you? you get washed off in a storm, or what are you going to do? Well, I never thought of that, Tom. Does everybody on a big ship like that cruiser know how to swim? Of course. Ask any of these fellows. There's one. Uh-huh. Golly, he's big. And he's got his sack and everything. There's no sack. They call that a sea bag. Well, he sure is big and strong. Betcha he's a hero. 
A real live bear. You know, I'm home. Oh, it's not so much. Does he talk a lot, Tom? Tell you stories? Yeah, Sam Levent talks all the time, but not to me. What do you mean, Tom? All he does is follow Kitty Cullen around and talk to her. Golly! He never has any time for me. He didn't even take me aboard his cruiser, like he said. Guess I don't think so much of Sailor Ben as I did. Well, what does Judge Nair think about him? I don't know. My uncle hardly ever talks to me either, now. He's so busy with his old politics. <laughs> Is he still making speeches? Not much lately. The election's almost here. He has to listen to other people's speeches now. You mean the big political rally and picnic at River Grove this afternoon? Uh-huh. My father will be there. He's going to make a speech. Your uncle going to make a speech at River Grove, Tom? Of course not. That's the opposition party having that rally. Oh. But my uncle will go anyway, just to hear the speeches. And get free lemonade and sandwiches. Old Sailor Ben will probably be there, too, with Kitty. Does Sailor Ben take her every place? Yeah, just about, Jack. <laughs> when I'm a sailor, I won't be like that. You going to be a sailor when you grow up, you grow up Kenny? Sure. Me and Tom, too. Both of us. Are you, Tom? What for? Why, so I can sail off and see different places and things. Why, I might go around the world 30 times. It would be fun, all right, being a sailor. Golly, yes. Just wish I had a ship of my own right now. Or a boat. Or anything. I'd take it and sail right up the river. As far as I could go. You would? I'd show that old sailor, Ben. I'd go all the way up the river. Golly, Tom, I'd like to go with you. Me too. Why, a trip like that would be wonderful. Yeah. Why couldn't we get a boat? Just the three of us and sail around like sailors. Huh? Why couldn't we, Tom? Yes, we could if we had a boat. Can't sail without a boat. No. My father's got a boat. Huh? A rowboat. He has. But my father wouldn't let us use it. Why not? He says it leaks. Ah, oh, what's a little leak? Anyway, he wouldn't let us use it. No? No. But isn't Mr. Wallace, isn't your father going to the political rally? Well, yes. Then why couldn't we just borrow the boat this afternoon for a little while? We could row up and down the river and bring it right back. Well, I don't know, Tom. My father wouldn't like it. No, he wouldn't even know if you didn't tell well, him. I wouldn't tell him. So what are we waiting for? Let's get that old rowboat and sail her right up the river. Way up past River Grove as far as we can go. We'll show that old sailor Ben that we're just as good sailors as he is. Well, Kitty, Ben, you enjoying yourself? Oh, yes, Judge. Hi, sir. It's quite a picnic. The sandwiches and lemonade are really good. Uh, yeah. Well, you won't find their speeches so easy to digest. <laughs> it's always a catch at these political rallies. Yeah. Well, maybe so, Judge, but I'm going back for a piece of that apple pie. Come on. All right, Ben. Wait for me. Apple pie, huh? Well, 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 well. Yeah. Judge Nutter. Hmm. It's you, Wallace. Aren't you at the wrong political meeting, Judge? Maybe. Don't tell me that you've decided to change political parties. No, I just came along because I felt hungry, Wallace. And uh, thought there might be some fireworks later. Fireworks, eh? I'll have you know, Judge Nutter, that when my party has a political rally, we never, for any reason, allow it to be disturbed or broken up by rowdy boys. Oh, uh, well, that's too bad, Wallace. Too bad. And speaking of rowdy elements, I would prefer that your nephew did not associate with my son, Kinney. <clears throat> Oh, you would, huh? Yes, I would. That upstart Tom Bailey is a born troublemaker. He never did a good thing in his life. He's a bad boy. He's no worse than I was when I was a boy. <laughs> well, that's a fine comparison. Mr. Wallace, I don't like your political affiliations, and I don't like your attitude. <laughs> well, one of these days, I'm going to forget I'm a judge, and I'm going to snap off your icy disposition and break it right over the top of your head. <laughs> Why, I've never been so insulted in my life. Never in my life. Avast there, Judge Nutter. Avast. Oh, Ben. Mm. Get your apple pie? Aye, aye. Enjoying yourself, sir? Mm, well, I was up until a few minutes ago. Mm. Well, looks like they're about ready to start the speech making. And if they're talking as good as they chow, they ought to round up some books this afternoon. Yeah, maybe. But not if I could help it. What do you mean, Judge? Mm. If I was just 40 years younger, Ben... I might think of some way to break up this meeting. Well, here we are, Kitty. 
Benny, right in the middle of the river. Uh-huh. I guess this proves what a good captain I am. But, but Jack's doing all the work, Tom. He's rowing. Of course, he's the crew. Of us, of us, my hearty. Swap the deck and throw the dust dog. What's that mean, Tom? That's us sleep Oh. But what's it mean? I don't know. I heard it from Sailor Ben. Wow, you sound like a regular sailor, Tom. Here we go. Pull on the oars. What do you think I've been doing? I'm getting tired, Tom. Why don't you row a while? Me? Why, I'm the captain. Well, so what? Who ever heard of a captain rowing his own boat? Tom! A big crack. Bottom of the boat. Yeah. Golly, the water's coming in, Tom. Yeah. All right, so don't bother an old sea captain like me. Keep rowing, Jack. Ah, oh, what's the use? This old tub's going to sink anyway. Huh? What did you say, Tom? Nothing, Kenny. Jack, keep rowing. That's an order. Well, well, oh, all right. Maybe. Maybe we ought to go back, Tom. We're just across the river grove. We can't turn back now. Why? Look at all the people. Hi, father's over there, Tom. Yes, of course he can see it. Oh, they're all busy listening to the speeches. Nobody's going to pay any attention to us. Tom, the water's seeping in. More and more. Better stop going, Jack. Give us a hand. Tom! The water! like the meeting busted up, Mr. Wallace. What? That's right. A couple of boys in the river, drowning. And uh, what? Whose boys? You can't tell for sure. Uh, one of them looks like Tom Bailey. Tom Bailey? Tom Bailey. That's it. Why? What's the matter, Mr. Wallace? Why, 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 it's a plot, that's what it is. It's all Judge Nutter's fault. It's a plot. What? Why, boys why, are drowning. Oh, uh, well, that just shows how low that Judge Nutter will stoop. Found his own boy just to break up my meeting. It's him, Judge. It's Tom. But there's two of them. Yeah, that's Tom Bailey. He's a holding up young Jimmy Wallace. Swam all the way in with him. Come back there, Tom Bailey. Tom. Tom Bailey. Hello, Ben. What are you doing here? Uh, hello, Tom. Uncle. He does it now, Tom. Let me help you with the young lad here. Yeah. Uh, come on, Kenny. Um, um, did we make it? Oh, we made it, Kenny. Pretty wet, but safe. What about Jack? Huh? Oh, he's coming. Uh, oh, oh. Ben. Hi, Judge. Is Kenny Wallace all right, Ben? Hi, he's out, but he'll come around all right. Oh, that's good. And you, Tom, what about you, boy? Oh, what? <laughs> Hey! I'm all right. Ah, uh, put my coat around you, lad. Keep you warm. All right, Ben. Where is my son? Where is my son? Uh, Kenny. Kenny, speak to me. He'll speak to you, mister. Where he gets his wind back. He'll be all right, Wallace. Oh, it's you, Judge Nutter. I expect that your boy had something to do with breaking up my meeting. Nearly drowning my Kenny. Yes, I wouldn't be surprised if Tom had a hand in it. Where is he? Where is that, that ruffian? Right behind you, Wallace. He's what? Good afternoon, well... Well, what have you got to say for yourself, Tom Bailey? Well, I'm sorry I took your boat. Your my boat? You mean you mean that my boat? You mean that you've been rowing out there in the river in that old broken down rowboat of mine? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh my goodness! 
This is too much. I this is. I guess I eh? won't be able to bring the boat back, Mr. Wallace. We had a slight accident. Yes. Well, I should think you would, Tom Bailey, taking an old worthless boat out into deep water like that. Why, why you tried to kill my son. That's what you tried uh, to do. I wouldn't say that, Wallace. Oh, no? Well, maybe you wouldn't, Judge Nutter, but I will. That nephew of yours is nothing but a common, ordinary... Hold the gas there, mister. Eh? I reckon I know how to take care of land lovers like you. <laughs> why, what do you mean? Who are you, anyway? My name's Sailor Ben, mister, and I've been around the world 30 times. And in all my travels, I've never seen a sea swab the likes of you. What? Why, what the hell? Bailey, land lover. I'll do the talking. Young Tom Bailey here saved his son's life just now. He swum all the way in with your boy hanging around his neck, and that's no easy trick in that river current, mister. What, you mean, you mean... I, that's... Old Tom Bailey, your thanks for saving your son's life. Well, I... Now, look here. I don't know who you are, but I don't like your... Oh, you don't! Hey, you don't seem to know who I am. Sure I do. You're the biggest crab i ever seen on dry land. And I'm going to toss you back in where you... Oh, no, wait a minute. Wait, you back in. Oh. <laughs> 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 Come on, Tom. That takes care of him and his feet, too, huh, Judge? I'm afraid so, Ben. <laughs> ah, I figure if anybody's got a right to make a speech, it's Tom here. What do you got to say, Tom? <laughs> hey! Feeling better now, Tom? Uh-huh. Yes, Kitty. Oh, oh cool. hello, Uncle. Hello, boy. Doctor tells me you'll be up and around in no time, Tom. That's good news, eh, Ben? Hi, sir. Well, Kenny Wallace and Jack. They're both fine, Tom. Just fine. Oh. And Mr. Wallace? Miss. <laughs> He's dried out a bit. <laughs> In more ways than one. <laughs> good. <laughs> you really shouldn't have pushed him so hard, Ben. <laughs> I just want to make sure he didn't start another rally. <laughs> oh, Ben, you were wonderful. <laughs> yeah. All righty. But, Tom. That was a foolish and dangerous thing you did, Tom. Taking a boat out on the river. And I don't want to hear of any more tricks like that. No, sir. I've learned my lesson, Uncle. You know, Judge, I sort of feel maybe I'm to blame for Tom getting in trouble. Oh, what do you mean, Ben? Well, I promised to take Tom aboard my cruiser while I was here. Show him around the ship, how it is to be a sailor. Uh-huh. I was so busy at courting Miss Kitty here, I reckon I never did have no time for Tom. Hmm. Yeah. I think I understand, Ben. But it won't happen again, Judge. Huh? Oh, sir. Got permission from the old man. Uh, that is the captain. Take young Tom all around my ship as soon as he gets well. Oh, will you, sailor Ben? That'll be fine. It's what I wanted more than anything. Yep. And I'll find some time to tell you about my travels, too. I've been around the world 30 times. <laughs> all right, sailor Ben. You keep Tom happy until he's up on his mischievous feet again. Aye, sir. That's an order. Um... I'm Uncle. Yes, Tom. I'm sorry I'm so bad, Uncle. Bad? <laughs> well, people call you a bad boy, Tom. But it's like I always say, you're not such a very bad boy. <laughs> There it is, the story of a bad boy in a dramatization by Tom Goute from the childhood classic of Thomas Bailey Aldrich. Young Tom was played by Alastair Kyle, Judge Nutter by Craig McDonald. Music by Doc Whipple, and the entire production was under the direction of Joseph Mansfield. Each Saturday, Adventure Ahead presents heroes and heroines whose exciting exploits will appeal to youthful-minded listeners of every age. NBC and its affiliated independent stations present Adventure Ahead as a public service. This is the National Broadcasting Company. Mm.